Have you heard the news? Tandem just announced that their next pump, the Moby, was just cleared by the FDA. Today I'll be providing you with all of the information I've come across doing some internet research and also talking to a few Tandem representatives. Hi, my name is Jillian. I'm a stay-at-home mom with two young children. I've been living with type 1 diabetes for 32 years. This is my diabetes lifestyle channel. In this channel, you'll gain access to a lot of information about type 1 diabetes and also get a look at how I balance my life living with a chronic illness and raising a young family. Tandem Diabetes Care is about to add another pump to their catalog. So right now they have the T-Slim X2. It's what I'm currently using and it is the number one rated pump on the market. I am so excited for the release of the Moby coming up. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to it. It is the world's smallest, most durable automated insulin delivery system. It's going to be using the same program as the T-Slim. It's going to use the Control IQ. The target range is from 112 to 160, and then in their sleep mode, it's 110 to 120. I really wish they would go down to a target of 100 instead of 110. The 780G from Medtronic was just released in the US and they use 100 as a target blood sugar. I'm thinking that's gonna be their next step. Even though this pump is coming out with the control IQ that's set to 110, doesn't mean they can't just do a software update in the near future and give us a target blood sugar as low as 100. So it is less than half the size of the T-Slim. They claim it could fit in a coin pocket in your jeans. It can also be clipped onto your body. Hopefully their clip is a lot better than the T-Slims because a lot of problems with that falling off. I'm sure a lot of you do. So I, I, I know they've heard our feedback and hopefully they improved on that. They also have five inch tubing as an option. So that's a lot shorter than the T-Slim. I'm not sure the length on this, but it's definitely longer than five inches, but they still will have this available. So you have some choices. What I'm really excited about is the adhesive sleeve. Now this is sold separately. It's gonna be really good for athletic people. It should reduce the risk of your pump ripping out a lot. So one of the things they are trying to do with the Moby in the future is to make it tubeless. Just like the Omnipods. This will be in competition with the Omnipod 5, I'm assuming, but it is going to be a lot smaller and a lot less bulky. Yeah. So that is very exciting. The Moby pump will actually not have a screen like the T-Slim. The Moby will be controlled 100% by an iPhone. So if you have an Android, that is a bummer. As far as I know, you will not be able to use the Moby when it first comes out. There is a manual bolus option on the pump, just like the T-Slim. You can hold down the top button, it'll have a bolus option for you. I have it set to half a unit every time I do that, if I were to confirm it, which I did not. So I think it's going to be the same thing with the Moby. That option is going to be available. But besides that, it will be controlled by your phone. So kind of nice. You don't have to have a PDM like the Omnipod. And also, it's going to be a little bit more discreet for people that are concerned about that. You don't have to pull out your pump or some people think it's a pager, you can just go ahead and use your phone. It looks like you're sending a text to your friends instead of taking your insulin dose. A few more features. So the Moby will have a 200 unit cartridge. Now this does help with the size of the Moby. Like I said, it is the smallest in the world. But for some people who take more than 200 units every three days, they're gonna need this 300 unit cartridge. The Moby might not be an option for them, unless they wanna go ahead and change their pump every one to two days, depending on how often they go through those 200 units. That could be kind of an inconvenience and a waste. Another thing with the Moby, it is water resistant, just like the T-Slim, not waterproof, water resistant. I think with the T-Slim, they tell you you can go underwater up to three feet for no more than 20 minutes. I'm not sure about the depth or the length of time with the Moby, but I do believe it is better than the T-Slim's rating. So the Moby will use the Dexcom G6. It's not set to use the G7 yet. I believe they are gonna be trying to work with Libre too, so there will be another company involved with the CGM usage. So the great thing about this for me is my warranty just ended on my T-Slim. 
a little scary because I have to get through the next few months without having a pump under warranty, but by the time the Moby comes out, I can just go ahead and get that and switch over, no cost to me. If you are using a pump and under warranty, if you have at least 12 months left on your warranty, they have a trade-in option. It's called the Tandem Choice Program. Someone told me it's like $999, so $1,000, and you can just go ahead and upgrade to the Mobi when it comes out. Now, I had a salesperson from Tandem tell me that, but then I talked to a Tandem rep on the phone and she said they were not at liberty to say yet. So $1,000 to switch a pump for something exciting and new like this, the smallest pump in the world, this is probably gonna be the next pump that goes tubeless, I would think. It's a great option for someone that wants to take advantage to switching over and keeping their warranty active. If you are interested in the Moby, make sure you go on Tandem's website right now. I believe it's tandemdiabetescare.com. On their blog, you'll see them talk about the Moby. They're gonna go over all the specs I just talked to you about. And you can go ahead and sign up for information about the Moby. What I've heard from Tandem is the Moby is set to be released sometime in early 2024. I know they're doing an early release at the end of this year. Now, nothing is written in stone yet. They just have the FDA clearance, so they still need to go through a few more inspections, things like that, before they can go ahead and release it. So it is going to be a little bit of time, but not too much longer. And I'm sure they're going to be having a little bit more information and advertising as the time gets closer. So there's a few things going on with the Moby. It's very exciting. Tandem's next pump. I can't wait. I love Tandem Diabetes. They are great. I hope this was exciting news for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.